welcome to Whose Turn Is It? Painting with Jackie and Elijah. It is my turn. My name is Jackie. Today we're going to be doing a very simple painting. Um, we're going to be doing a faded blue background with maybe a silhouette of a tree with a cat on, on a swing and a moon with probably another swing. So let's get started here. We're going to take this big brush here. We're going to dip it in some water. Make sure we get any excess paint off because it looks like there might be still some black paint on there. We're just going to dry that off just a little bit, but you want to get your canvas nice and wet so your colors whoop, blend together very evenly when you put them on. You don't want to oversaturate your canvas, but you want just enough. Make sure it covers all of it. Perfect. Now we're going to take our dark blue, I'm going to mix it together. I've mixed a navy and a darker blue together. I'm just going to mix that real quick here. Be generous with how much paint you're using. So if you, you don't use enough, it'll look a little, a little washed out. So it's got some paint there. We're just going to go ahead and brush it on there. I may have used too much water. That's okay. It's a nice blue, isn't it? It's very dark. So you want to go down about a third of the way. Maybe let it fade in. Just do nice, even strokes. Now we're going to wash it off just a little bit here. Then we're going to add a lighter blue. Just right here. We're going to start below the other blue and then work up and then back down. Add some more paint to your brush if you need. Make sure you're getting all the way to the edges. All right. Go up and bring it back down. Make sure it's nice and blended there. All right, so now we're going to wash off our brush completely. We're going to put some white on the bottom there. Kind of blend that into the lighter blue. Let's take some white here. Again, just start down here and bring it up and bring it back down. Now you're going to want to wait for your background to dry before you start doing any sort of silhouette work so it doesn't get all runny. Just make sure that's nice and even there. Bring it up if you want some more. Bring it back down. That nice blend, blended look there. All right, now I'm going to wash my brush off. Awesome. Let's see. To start sketching some stuff out, I'm going to take this little flat brush here. We're going to start with the ground. So I'm just going to dip it in the black here. If you want, you can hold it like a pen or you can hold it back here, whatever's more comfortable for you. I like holding it like a pen. I feel like I have more control over my brush. So I like to have a curved ground, so I'm just going to go like that. Keep adding paint to your brush as needed. And start from that side, meet it there. We're going to fill this in with black here in a little bit. All right, we got some of that going. I think I'm going to start on my tree. Start the outline of that. So that's where the tree's going to go. Let's go ahead and sketch out that moon too, just so we know where we want everything to be placed. I like doing a crescent moon. You can do full moon, half moon, 
whatever sort of moon fits your fancy. I'm going to let this dry after I add the branches and stuff in here. These are the big main branches. So I'm going to have a cat on a swing, so I want this branch to kind of curve over a little bit for our swing to go on. Make this branch kind of go up this way. Again, make your tree however you want. And add a little bit more black to my brush and just kind of dab it on there because my background's still a little wet. Right. Right, I'm going to fill this in. And when we come back, we'll do branches and swings. Community Service Apparel is the answer to your cries for premium streetwear, a street-style boutique for the people, by two people. Built for the generations who still want to be themselves without having to compromise style. Concert is locally owned and operated, partnering with the Cypher Shop and McGinnis and Sons to bring you top graffiti and skateboarding supplies. Concert Apparel delivers rare and exclusive clothing designs for brands you know and love. Come visit at 3356 South Broadway in Inglewood, Colorado. Community Service Apparel, your one-stop shop for everything street. All right, welcome back, guys. Thanks for sticking around. I just filled in my tree here, and I'm filling in the ground down at the bottom just so we know what we're working with here. I probably should use a bigger brush for this, but I'm going to be filling in some other de smaller details too, so I'm just going to stick with this brush, and that's fine. You use what is comfortable for you. All right. And we got our ground all filled in. Kind of make sure there's no white spots, unless you want them. Make it look kind of snowy or something. Oops. Oh, I made that a little bigger than I wanted, so we'll just fill that in. There's no mistakes, just happy little accidents. You can fix anything on a painting. All right, now I'm gonna start filling in my moon. Again, with the black, just kind of just get it on there. Follow the shape of your moon. Try not to change that too much. There we go. Looking pretty good there. Nice, happy little moon. I kind of want to extend that a out a little bit more there, because we're going to put a swing on there. So the cat on the tree swing has a friend in the sky. Perfect. I say that looks pretty good. So I'm going to wash off this flat brush here. I'm going to go for a smaller detail brush to start working on the branches and the, uh, the swing, I actually may use an angled brush for the swing, so let's just work on the branches for now. Hmm. Let's see, a smaller detailed brush. We'll go with this guy right here. We're gonna dip it in the black. You can make the branches however you want. I like sort of a whimsy, whimsical, swirly looking branches. So I'm just gonna go right here. And add as many or as few as you like. 
I don't want to add too much. Definitely try to add a variety of um, sizes. Maybe add a smaller one in there. Perfect. And just keep adding them until you feel like your tree looks fantastic. They don't have to be full spirals if you don't want them to be. They just be little hooks. Make sure that the branches are blending into your tree. Don't want them sticking out all funny. I'm gonna add a double to that one, I think. There we go. Maybe have one going this way, bigger branch. There we go. Fill in some of that white spots there. Maybe add a couple down here. I'd say that looks pretty good. I'm gonna stop with the branches for now. I'm going to go ahead and take my angled brush, this guy right here, and I'm going to make the swings. So how I'm going to do that is, again, dipping the paintbrush into the paint. Get a nice, generous layer there. You don't want it to be too clumpy because you're trying to do a fine line. And so don't sketch it out. It'll make it look kind of funny. So I would just start up here and then just let your hand fall let gravity do the work for you and then again up here make the swing however big or small you want and just let gravity do its thing now we're going to make a platform or a bench for the cat to sit on we're just going to do a line straight across here just like so all right if it's sticking out on either side kind of like the look of it that way so I'm gonna leave it kind of make these lines a little bit thicker if I can and then we're gonna go over to the moon and make a smaller version so here drop down here drop down and make another platform and then when we come back from the break we will make a cat to sit in this swing here I'm just gonna touch up my swing a little bit maybe add some grass just flick up just flick up like that All right, stay tuned and we'll draw a cat. I'm just gonna finish this grass. Cons Home Plus. With Yes Money Financing, next day delivery, and a competitive, desirable assortment of products and brands. From Maytag to Samsung, LG to Whirlpool, Cons is sure to have all the best possible items and the latest technology for you to choose from. For whatever you need around your home, Cons Home Plus is the place to go. Come on in to one of our stores today or you can shop online at cons.com. Cons Home Plus.
welcome back to Whose Turn Is It Painting with Jackie and Elijah. It's my turn now, and we're going to paint some nice Halloween-themed landscapes. Now, you might be wondering why. I am a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And I was inspired to make something a little Tim Burton-esque today. So, we're going to go over our colors real fast, what we'll be using. I'm using Anita's acrylics. Now, there are better acrylics out there, but these are very inexpensive and accessible just about anywhere. We're going to be using a basic white, a basic black, a canary yellow, a pumpkin orange, grape, and dark brown. All right, and first things first, oh, as you learned last segment, we're just going to wet our canvas down. Nice, long strokes. Now, just going to dry our brush off a little bit here. We're going to start with this grape. Just tap that off a little bit and just back and forth. Just nice, back and forth. I do little light strokes. Get a little more of that purple up in here. A little bit more. All righty. Nice and purple layer. Now, we're going to pull some black up. Just pull it right into our purple. So we can kind of get a bit of a darker purple, just like that. We're just going to, using the taps, we're going to blend it into just the corners. Just the corners. And maybe a little bit of the ceiling. Just as such. Now, just going to let that paint off a little bit. And we're going to switch over to a nice flat brush with stiffer bristles. We're just going to get a little wet. We're going to pick up our titanium white. We're just going to pull it here, tap it off. We don't want it to be too, too full. We're just going to paint a nice little circle. And I think my brush was a little too wet. So we'll let that dry off for a bit. Just like such. Now, I like the moon nice and bright and white. Some people, not so much. But I like it up here in the corner. This looks like it's doing a nice effect. Nice, pleasant color. So we're going to wet our brush, clean it off again. We're going to travel back to our dark brown. And it's going to pull out from the side. As such. And as I suspected earlier, my canvas is actually a little bit wet. Suspiciously suspect, as I would say. Here we go. We want it to be kind of darker near the edge, which is why we're pulling out from the edge, so it's lighter as we get towards the center. This is going to give us a nice sense Wetting our brush back down again. And visit our black one more time. We're just going to add in nice backdrop. So this here, what I'm putting in right here in the corner, is a mountain ring. Now, sometimes everyone has this opinion that mountains are these giant peaks and valleys, but where I live, most of them are made up of hills. And at night, I always thought there were shadows walking down the mountains at me. 
which might be why these look a tad uncomfortable to some. We're just going to pull straight down as such. Now, we have a nice backdrop here for a nice horror scene. I have to say, I'm going to need to make sure I'm not watching horror movies tonight or I'm not going to be getting to sleep. <laughs> Clean your brush off. Now, we're going to get back. We're going to put some more detail on some of this here, but we've got a nice layout for what we're working on. We're just going to add something real fast before we go. Real sneaky. We're gonna finish that dirt trail when we come back from these breaks. I've been Elijah Hyde, and this is Food Turn Your Tank. Up. If you're fresh out or looking to try something new, then stop on by your neighborhood Native Roots Dispensary to find some relief. We are open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. every single day of the year to serve you with smiles from the friendliest and most knowledgeable bud tenders in the industry. We offer a wide variety of products ranging from smokables, edibles, topicals, and accessories. With over 20 locations, Native Roots Dispensaries are your one-stop shop for medical and recreational marijuana in Colorado. Welcome back to Whose Turn Is It Paint? It's my turn now. I'm Elijah Heise. And we're just continuing on where we left off. Now I finished drawing in this nice little trail here. Now we padded it down so we can make it look like people have walked on it. Because that's what trails are for. But now we're going to put a little detail into where we're going. And where are we going? Well, we're going to the forest. We're going to the forest in autumn, obviously. So it doesn't look quite the same way it does here in spring. So, using a flat brush, we're just going to draw down, right over the black. We're just going to draw just down like this. You don't want to put too much detail immediately in. Detail will come later. The eye detects detail as we get closer. So it's important to know detail. Now, some of these trees are damaged. It's fall. So how do we make it look that way? That way. Pat down with a flat brush. Because the pine needles have all gone brown. Now my brush is a little too thick here. Pat in a little bit of body. I always like that little sound, a little pitter patter sound when you're painting on something. It's just a real pleasant tapping sound. Some people really enjoy that. My father absolutely hates it. Not never much of a painter, that man. So we're just gonna tap it in. Real gently. Just like that. Now, let's finish that skyline. We're just going to wipe that off. We're going to go back to our one inch. 
I'm going to actually do this dry. We're going to go back to our white. Tap it off. We don't want a lot of paint on the brush for this. The moon kind of lets out light. So we want to soften the area around the moon. This looks a little sloppy right now. We're going to blend it all later. Just going to go outwards. We're going to blend it in. Might make things a little bit easier if we had a little bit more moon in there. We're going to use a nice dry. Should really bring the white in. Cover up anything here. No mysteries. No mysteries. The moon's a real friendly guy. Doesn't want to doesn't want to surprise anybody. All righty. Well, we're going to use the wet. Bring it back. Dry. They hold water, but they don't hold paint. Who would have guessed? You just pull it out. Pull it out in all directions. Just like that. Now, I said earlier that this was uh, Nightmare Before Christmas theme. That's because I really love Nightmare Before Christmas. And when I think of The Nightmare Before Christmas, I always think of that movie poster, the one where Jack is singing on a hill. I want to try to draw that hill. Now, I have never drawn something like this before, so we're going to have to do our best. I'm going to go to my, my black and we're just going to go real organic. Nice swirl. Comes down around this side. Just hit back to that black. So you can get a nice even feature. That's coming together much better than I thought it would. Much better. There we go. It's going to look very nice when it's all done. Little thick on the black. Little thick on the black. You might want to lay off the black when you do yours. So one more detail, just a real quick one. I'm using this real thin brush, which is sign your name on. This has been whose turn is it painting? I'm Elijah Highs. That was Jackie Lowe earlier. And you have a wonderful evening. RC Hobbies of Middleton have the best selection of RC toys and all the parts and accessories you will ever need. Remote controlled cars, boats, drones, an epic outdoor dirt track, and even an indoor stone crawler track. With over 15 years in the business, these guys can help you put your toy back together after countless hours of fun. Join the community of RC Hobbies, exchange tips, and get everything you need to enjoy your RC hobby. Call or visit at rc-hobbies.com slash Middleton. If there's one thing we all need, fellas, it's that fresh trader lineup. And ladies, maybe you want to try out a new hairstyle or color. No matter your need, make sure you check out Scissor Hand Design Studio in Northland on 104th and I 25. They are a quality over quantity, family oriented barber shop with all licenses and award winning barbers and stylists. A fun, relaxed family environment that will make you feel right at home. So come on down, bring the wife, bring the kids to Scissor Hand Design today.